Hello, in this video, I would like to explain you all about the project that we have made as a part of our calf stock, geofencing based animal tracker. But before starting to explain about the project, I would like to introduce to the team members we all together have made this project happen. Hello, my name is Ankit Patel. I am from ENC7. Hello, everyone. My name is Mehul Saxena and I am from ENC5. Hello, my name is Subkhanna and I am from ENC4. Hi, my name is Saurabh Roy and I am from ENC4. Hi, I am Akash Misha and I am from ENC4 and I will take you all step by step towards the development and working of our project. So let's begin. We'll start with the very first and basic question that may come to mind that what is geofencing? So geofencing also known as geozone is basically a virtual perimeter for a real, real world geographic area that uses GPS. A geofencing is dynamically generated and can be predefined set of boundaries. And by using geofencing, our aim was to make a geofencing based animal tracking system, which we can track uh, using which we can track the live location of animals in forest and national park. And why exactly so we wanted that to protect them from any harm and then prevent any unexpected accident. Also, the objective was to monitor and control the activities and movement. So we made, made an Android based application using which the user has the right to control the allowed area using the geofence method. A notification will pop up to the user's mobile phone if the targeted animal are out of the boundaries that was being created by the user. And moving on with the design and implementation part of the application, the design of the interface will cover the map, user login, and many more. This phase was also important to make the application look simple and user friendly. Uh, the framework that our application will be using will be like the figure that is being shown on the screen. That is, the user will add animals number and details and all. Like uh, when the user will ask for the location of that particular animal, then the GPS, which is being connected to both the user's device and the animal tracking device, will send and uh, will send a uh, uh, response to the user device and track device will fetch the location and pass on to the user. Tracking arch architecture that we have used in the application is very much similar to the figure shown uh, in the screen. That is, user will send a request to the geofence. Then GPS will set the ask location as a geofence boundary for the target animal. And then GPS will keep on getting the real-time location of the animal. And the moment that particular animal will cross the boundary set by the user earlier, the GPS will send an alert to the application. And the application will pop up the notification in the user device about the situation that the targeted animal has interacted with the geofence offense that he has all he or she has already said now that we know about the framework and architecture that we have used to develop this application it's time i should let you with the development of the application step by step we'll start with the user interface that is the sign up page and the sign in page sign in page is for the users that have already registered with the application and sign up will be for the user that are new and who you need to register uh, their uh, who need to register on the application first and then continue with the sign in option also to mention that since we could not have any such real animal and tracking device attached attached to test the working of application so we use an extension or in simple terms an emulator that emulated the broadcasting of tracking signal from the tracker in a nutshell we created an emulator to act as a virtual animal with tracking device to keep up with the development of application right the very first and important step in the working of the application was to create and set a geofence in the map. So we created a geofence which when set by the user will cover an area of radius of about 200 meter. Then came the part where when the animals targeted, if interacts with a geofence, that is if it interacts with the geofence area, which is being set by the user, then the application must generate and trigger uh, so that the user can know about the situation and the animal's interaction. As we can see uh, here in the application, uh, trigger is being generated. And then furthermore, we improvise the function that we created for triggering the application to make it such that if the animal interacts with the geofence area, then it will not only generate and trigger, but it will send a notification to the user's application that the object has entered into the geofence area or the object is dwelling inside the geofence area or the object has uh, left from the uh, uh, geofence area and such. So as discussed, 
up till now uh, here we can see the exact working of the application uh, in real time environment as i already said here we have set the geofence as we can see in the right side of the screen and then uh, as i already said in the previous video that we have created an emulator which will act as a virtual device and that will uh, serve the need of an animal with a tracking uh, device so that when it will get uh, interact here this this uh, point that is going towards in that line is the is that animal and here we can see that the animal when it interacted with the geofence that we have already set earlier here we get the notification in our application that is the object has entered in the geofence area and the object is dwelling inside the geofence area and as soon as the um, animal reaches at the end of the geofence location we again get a notification that the object has exited the geofence area in this way the user will get notified about the um, about the animal that uh, he or she has targeted upon to get the live location and to get the live user status of that particular animal Furthermore, uh, when we move forward, uh, we can summarize the entire working of the application that after starting the application, the user is greeted with a sign up or the sign activity. The data collected by the sign up activities is stored in a database for later use of verifying the sign credentials. And after registering or logging in, the user comes to the home activity, which shows different actions that can be performed. Map activity is where the user can keep an eye on the status of the registered animal. The user is notified about the whereabouts of their animal if, uh, if the application is running in the background and generates a notification if required and with uh, all that being said i would like to thank you all really for going through all this uh, video and understanding the working of our project that we have made as a part of our capsule